Hello, I'm James George and this is Carita Beacon and this week I'm going to show you some time saving tips for, for Photoshop. So when you're working in Photoshop uh, you usually charge by the hour and so the concept is the more work that you can do in an hour the more money you'll make overall and so that's why I'm going to show you these tips so that you can save you know you'd be amazed at how much uh, time you could say by saving a few seconds here a few seconds there plus it uh, cuts down on your frustration and the repetitiveness of having to go to this menu and do that and you know just all that stuff so you can save time by uh, double clicking this menu here and then using the up and down arrow keys to cycle through text before you had to use the shift key but now you don't have to do that anymore you could just uh, hot, double click to highlight your text double click to highlight this uh, little uh, text or font option here up in the top option menu and then just use your up and down arrow keys to select the font that you want so you know you can see that you can uh, cycle through uh, quickly to find what you're looking for and you know you can so let's say that you want to stop on that okay now this is a good example for uh, one of the other uh, tricks I'm going to show you is if you want to uh, kern your text place your cursor uh, between the two letters that you want to fix. Hold down the Alt key and use the left and right arrows to add and subtract space. And so you can turn your type quickly without uh, having to go into uh, the character panel over here and try to do it that way. That is That is not the way you want to go. And so you can really just hone your type and give it uh, tight, tight spacing or uh, loose spacing depending on uh, the look that you're going for and so this is uh, that's another way that you can save time if you have your text selected if you want to uh, enlarge it or uh, decrease the size of the text. This is what you do. You hold down Command or Control on the PC, Alt or Option. So those those two together, Command or Control or Alt uh, uh, Control and Option. You know those those two keys. Shift, and then on your keyboard you should see uh, right after the M you see the greater than and less than symbols. It, um, you just use either one of those. It's sort of like the, the brush tool, which I'll show you a trick with that here in a second. But um, you can just enlarge or lower the typeface with those two keys. Makes it really easy. So let's say that you were zoomed in really far. So So let's say that you were zoomed in working on something and uh, just a little tip for you if you're zoomed in and you want to you don't want to have to switch to the hand tool if you uh, just hit the space key it will automatically switch to the hand tool and so you can move around the canvas and then when you let go of the shift key it goes back to the tool that you're using so like if you're on the wand tool and you want to move around, hit this hit the space tool, and then when you let go of the space tool, it goes back to the wand tool. Really easy. And so if you're zoomed in really far, then you want to zoom out to where everything fits on your screen. Just hit command or control and the number zero and it zooms all the way out to where everything is within view as long as your panels aren't in the way like mine um, 
you know, that's uh, an easy way. And then Command or Control and the plus or minus keys will zoom in and zoom out. So you don't have to use the zoom tool every time or, you know, make a selection with the uh, magnifying glass here. That's not necessary. Uh, to control your image size, let's say you want to decrease the Im image size for this, you hit Command or Control and Alt and Option together. So Command or Control and either Alt or Option. These change whether you're on Mac or PC. I'm trying to give you both Mac and PC at the same time so you can uh, use it no matter what platform you're on. So uh, those two keys plus the I key brings up image size. And from here, you can uh, change the image size uh, and constrain the proportions and resample it and do all that stuff. The same works for canvas size. If you hold down Command or Control and either Alt or Option, those two keys together, and hit the C key, it brings up canvas size. And from there, you can add canvas space and... Um, you know, width or height, and if you want to add, let's say you want to add more space at the bottom, I know this is sort of counterintuitive, but if you want to add more space to the bottom, you would click the up arrow key. So this tells you that, hey, this is going to put more space in this area. And so the way you could think of it is the space that you see visually is where the space is going to go on your canvas. Quick and easy. Another one that is um, that I use all the time is Command or Control T, which is Transform. And from here you can you know, resize it and do do whatever you're going to do. But also when you're in Transform mode, if you don't want to have to go through a bunch of menus uh, to do uh, some extra stuff, while it's in Transform mode, if you right click on it you get these extra options like warp, uh, skew, rotate, scale. Now uh, perspective and uh, distort and those things come up when uh, you're using raster. It's not going to do this on a type layer. However, give me just two seconds, I'm going to try something here. Okay, now, the way that you could keep your type editable while uh, warping it or distorting it, this is a little uh, quick tip for you, is when um, you want to keep your text editable, uh, convert it to a smart object, then apply the transform to it. So then that way, when you right-click on it, uh, perspective and distort, all these options are available to you. And so if you decide to change the perspective and commit it, you can always go back and change the original text. Now open up a, um, a um, temporary file and you can go in and change the word. And when you're done, you just hit save and close this because this this PSB file is a is a um, temporary Photoshop file and so now when you come back it's beacon so this is awesome when you're applying effects to your type but you want to keep it editable and so this will save you a ton of time especially if you have clients that come back and say I want to change the wording of this from industry to company or something, you know, these little changes. But then if you've rasterized your design, you have to go back and basically redo it. And you're ready to throw your client out the window. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't throw your client out the window. But if you've set your Photoshop file up uh, properly using uh, smart objects, you can just go back and edit the text and the effect will still be applied to it and it'll look great and you just saved uh, time and frustration of having to go back and do it. 
Now, some quote unquote underhanded designers may uh, still go ahead and charge for a full uh, redo of the project, which I, I wouldn't do. That's unethical. But um, I personally, I don't like having to go back and redo my work. And so this saves me a lot of time and frustration from having to do that. Another uh, quick tip is sometimes you don't want to just hit uh, Command J to duplicate a layer. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you're you're working directly on the canvas, or you may be using uh, your uh, Wacom tablet or something like that, and you may have a key programmed as your Alt key or something like that, and you just don't want to have to use your keyboard as much. Well, uh, one thing that you can do is just hold the Alt or Option key, and you see these double arrows. That means that if you click and drag, it will make a copy. And so instantly you just made a copy of that and drag it into place. That makes life a lot easier. That's it this week for uh, my time saving tips in Photoshop. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go to uh, creativebeacon.com and subscribe to my newsletter and uh, I will I would love to connect with you guys also you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook as well as LinkedIn I, I'm pretty much everywhere I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon If you hold down uh, the shift key and use the up and down arrows, you can cycle through different uh, fonts on your system. And so this makes it really easy for you to uh, you know, preview the different fonts that you're going to use. So, you know, that's pretty easy uh, to do, to cycle through. You can see that... Uh,